What's going on, y'all? My name is Ivan Gaskin. And my name is Kyla Janae Lacey. Welcome to this week's episode of Speak, Speak Up. Up. Every week, man, we've been trying to give y'all the poetry that is from the stars. I mean, the greatest you've ever heard. And really, all we're trying to do is make sure we're giving you something good for the soul. If you like what Speak Up has to say, then right now I need all y'all to speak up right quick. Come on, man. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Check it out. Listen. What we out here trying to do right now is share a good word with the world. So please, tell a friend, tell a family member, tell somebody you don't like, anybody, man. But as long as they subscribe, like, comment, and share, we can keep cranking out this positive content for what y'all got going on. So, Kyla, talk to the people. I'm actually really excited because I just heard the rehearsals backstage Crazy. and I'm ready to get Crazy. the show on the road. Oh. Are you guys excited for this week's episode of Speak Up? Up? Come on, man, make some noise. Listen, listen, listen. With that, y'all, we're going to go ahead and get these poets out here, man. Poets, where y'all at? Woo, we'll be right back. We'll be back. Two very different paths led two very different people to the same place, Los Angeles. Although they both did it differently, one dropping out of college and working an unfulfilling job, the other graduating and working in an unfulfilling career, their journeys led them through similar circumstances and situations. Their life experiences and truths fuel their content and their storytelling. College brought them together and pursuing their passions in life keeps them together. Bosco, the passion-driven prose, and K.O., the purpose-driven poet, make up the drama comedy that is the dynamic duo headed to the stage right now. Please give it up for The Griot. I gave you my insecurities, unassuredly, skeptically, petrified even. But I can't help but to exhaustively give credence to this newly felt conviction that you sparked within me with the hopes that true love would be given back wholeheartedly. I gave you every part of me, but obviously that wasn't worthy of your power of will. And logically, I appreciate your honesty, but honestly, I wish you'd fight for me, not destroy, destroy me. me. I never would have thought that you would have the capacity to manipulate me. The mere sound of your voice lulled me like the sirens of the Red Sea into believing that what we had was a love that was built on history. history. You're willing to blot out Willing to erase because the race is no longer easy to run? Nah. Fun has been replaced with a space that I choose to be numb to, dumb to, or just confused. confused. You see, that's what perplexes me. Because from jump, I didn't ask for this. It was you that made the unnecessary calls and sent the unrequested text. I didn't ask for it, but you did it, which made me believe that your intentions were sincere, sincere as hell as these tears that I hate that I'm crying from years of love suppressed. You. Say you want what's best for me, but that option includes you. So how do I get it? You've reduced what's best for me to never being to non-existent to incomprehensive. incomprehensive. It doesn't make sense. The you that I spoke to was nothing but warm and honest, genuine and true, forever giving of themselves with nothing but the purest of resolve. So surely these notions of side actions are just misinformation, misconstrued, misconstrued even. But let's be real. My trembling heart's feelings are getting worse. I mean, stronger. And it hurts me not to love you. I can't stop myself. Because there's never gonna be a reason for me not to. Because I shared moments with you, as you did with me. Personal milestones that I only divulged to you because you cured my fear of, of vulnerability. You, you engulfed me. You caused me to believe in an emotion that was known to me but had always escaped me as a mystery, but you, you solved it for me. me. This is a careless solution. Never talk again. Never be friends. I can't. I can't do this. I never thought I'd have to think of my life without you in it. And granted, I'm choosing to hurt because it hurts worse to pretend than to end. So I end, not because of beef, strife, issues, or pride, but because I can't live my life with you without love. You say you don't wanna hurt me. Then don't. don't. Don't lie to me. Because I can't take it. I asked you blatantly about your affections towards me. Standing here finally naked, bare, vulnerable, weak. 
I gave, gave you the, the opportunity, opportunity to just leave to me. To just be with me. Despite your inconsistencies, I espoused you to the highest of divinity. You, you ended, ended me. me. Temporarily. But somehow I want to thank, thank you. Thank you. For the brokenness. It made me build, it made me heal in places I, I wouldn't. wouldn't have. And the crazy thing is, is that I'm no longer upset because the emotions that you drew out of me caused my heart to be unrest. unrest. And I guess, I mean, I know I'm ready for who's next hmm. because I now love through words, acts of service, gifts and time spent on purpose. Love that I no longer fall in. I, I voluntarily walk, walk in a sensation that was never real to me now plagues my heart with the sincerest of severities, and I now know that love is real. And for that, I am thankful. thankful. Crushed, but, but not. Helen from Virginia Beach, Virginia, also known as the 757. Diana Lee is a proud graduate of the Virginia State University, class of 2020. Ms. Lee has allowed poetry and God to provide her with the keys to her survival. Since she was 11 years old, after joining the Teens with a Purpose based in Norfolk, she began her poetry journey with the Hampton Roads Youth Poets, debuting a piece entitled Drowning and Tudman Twenties. Now, she is a published author of two poetry books called Just My Thoughts and Give Me My Son Back. She has written and directed two stage plays and aspires to be a successful actress and director with the passion to tell stories that many fear. A true creative with a love for all things as it is essential to self-care. Y'all, come on, give it up one time for Diana Lee. Trigger warning. Sexual assault and crude content. Don't they know my nigga gotta fucking kidnap kids? Fuck them in the ass, throw them over the bridge. I don't want your hoe. Just want that cookie from her. She tried to resist, so I took it from her. You pregnant? Glad it ain't mine. It's a fact I was strapped. I ain't lying. Doctor says it's a little girl. Good. Now I get pussy and head at the same time. I got blood on my hands and there's no remorse. I got blood on my dick because I fucked the corpse. Does this make you feel uncomfortable? Rap and hip hop songs contain cruel lyrics that demean our women. These are our rappers who refer to gang, incest, acquaintance, aggravated and statutory rape. They have normalized attitudes towards violence against women. They have never been held accountable for what they say. Billions of dollars are made off of over-sexualized images of women. Rape culture is big business. It's implanted in hip hop. Rap got raped. Corporate hip hop, we call it the birthplace. The home of rape culture, where black men are bound by gold chains and Maseratis. Where the industry profits off of blackface and bodies appealing to white America. Where white America makes money off a of global rape epidemic. Where mediocre rappers receive platforms instead of more roles. That's more roles you don't need. Don't act like you didn't play your part in this synonym. Don't act like you didn't see the sin in them. We have made the violence against women's bodies acceptable. Turn gang banging and date raping into a routine. I said we have made the violence against women's bodies acceptable. Turn gang banging and date raping into a routine. Our humanity is crumbling. Day after day, we are being desensitized, numbed by the beat force trauma we often grow up on. We place Grammys by the tombstones. Where hip hop's most notorious women are being buried beneath an apple bum, Brenda, Sarah, Kim, Keisha. The only difference between raping someone and killing them is that when their life is taken away, they still have to live with it. Charnette Nicole is from Rochester, New York. An actress, singer, poet, event hostess, and the CEO of Mixed Berries, Charnette began her career as a co-host of RCTV in 1999. In the past, she has won several awards with Omega Psi Phi Fraternity for her spoken word abilities at their international conference. But she also frequently graces the stage as a thespian in multiple theater productions across the United States in her last 20 years of being an actress. Please. Help me introduce Miss Charnette Nicole. 
Across the oceans, across the deep blue sea, through the valleys inside of many human beings, fighting poverty to survive their every need, anthrax, terrorist attacks, the situation in the U.S. I mean, really, isn't that sad? Diabetes, obese, that sugar or lazy disease, gonorrhea, syphilis, or herpes, or maybe the big disease, AIDS, which has killed 5,700 people every day. Global Info, that's 33.2 people living with AIDS or HIV, and half are among young people are under the age of 20. I mean, really, isn't that sad? We got President Barack Obama promoting change. Need I remind you, us together, we can make a change in the way that we eat, sleep, teach, and greet. The world, as I was taught, was and still is a diverse universe, not a place where violence is the new entertainment. So we complain about a change in our everyday situation, but expecting a change only comes within our instincts. Now, if you cut me and you cut my vein, I'm still going to bleed the same blood as you. And if you crack an egg on the side of the street, it's still an egg yolk, no matter white or black. So when promoting change, just know that it comes with unity and a force and a force of togetherness. Complexion of Hume, together we can be the change. See? Oh, that's it. <laughs> One more time for our Phenomenal Poets of the Week, man. Are you guys liking the show? Absolutely, absolutely. Well, then you, you do. You already know what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to like, comment, subscribe, and share. One more. First of all, man, last of all, best of all. Major shout out to the Everybody's Network, content for the people. My name is Ivan Gaskin. This is the beautiful, the wonderful College and A. Lacey. Man, we love y'all. Until next time, speak up. We'll see y'all next week.